Hey guys, Adam Payne here, founder of YouTube Massacre, coming at you all the way from Japan. I've got a really cool tutorial for you today. I'll try and make it as simple as possible. It isn't difficult. It might take me a few minutes. However, once you know how to do this, you can really, really explode your marketing business using video. Because what I'm going to show you is how you can allow the viewer to click somewhere in your video and direct them anywhere you want online. It does not have to be... Uh, uh, URL that you have connected to your YouTube account. So let's let's take a step back and let's go to our vi video manager and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. We'll come to video manager and then we'll just bring that across here and we'll go to channel settings. Now of course I've already done this but you may not have done this um, but for this to work all of these lights should be green so you d that means you haven't got any strikes against you and if you haven't done this yet you want to come down to where it says external annotations and you can connect one website you want to this YouTube account. Now most people will connect either a squeeze page or a blog which means that then they can basically put a link in their video and people can click on that link and go to that website or any page connected to that website but I'm going to show you how you can do it for any website anywhere online. So what I suggest you do is if you have a blog or a WordPress website is you go ahead and you follow the instructions on how to connect your blog or WordPress site to your YouTube account. Once you've done that, this is what you have to do. First of all, you want to find a video. So we're going to come up here. Oh, sorry, one second. We are going to come up here and we're going to just do a search for a video. I've got one already in mind. Uh, this one here. And I'm going to click on my video. I'm going to pause it. Okay, now this little picture of me, I want to make this clickable. So when anybody clicks on this, they get directed to my Facebook account and then we can connect on Facebook because Facebook's much better than YouTube really for actually building relationships. YouTube is where you can brand yourself. Facebook's where you can start building relationships, in my opinion. So what do we do? We want to come down the bottom to where it says annotations and click once. And this is going to play it automatically, so make sure you pause the video. Okay. And then you want to click add annotation and make sure you choose spotlight. This will populate this box, drag it over your image size the box so it's you know just just looks good maybe give it a color so it stands out we'll give it blue facebook blue now if i hover over that see it's got a blue border now what i need to do is i need to make this clickable so the first thing i click on is this link then i click here and come down to associated website now if i would put my facebook url in here it wouldn't work because my facebook isn't my associated website it's my blog so i need to come over to my Facebook first and grab my ID URL and then what we'll do is we'll come to my blog which I should have open and I need to use a plugin called Pretty Link which is free um, if you've not got it you can just search plugin to Pretty Link and add it it's very very simple make sure let's come down and click on uh, add new link let's just drag this over so you can see what I'm doing so Pretty Link is here add new link and this is how you make a link in Pretty Link as well. So you've got two tutorials in one. Now, I want my Facebook profile as my target URL. I want to make sure this is permanent. I want to give the link at the end something that looks nice. So I'll put it Fbook. And I'll just put here Facebook profile YT for YouTube. Uh, it looks good. Click on Create. Once we've created it, we then want to come here and grab the link this is the one that we've just made we'll copy it we'll come up here and we'll just make sure that it works does it take me to my Facebook account yes it does great so what we'll do is we'll close that window off we'll paste the URL in here okay uh, if there's an error it will say something here then I want to make sure that this is actually showing for more than five seconds so what I want to do is I'm going to drag this along here, then I just click on save and publish. Now one other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on add annotation again and I'm going to click on a uh, note. And I'm just going to put in here connect with me on Facebook uh, arrow arrow arrow. I'm going to drag this down here. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Uh, we'll change this change this to black 
we'll change this to white and we could even get the size make it a bit bigger okay now people will see this they'll hover over this picture and they'll be, they'll be surprised because most people can't do this we'll click on publish again and we'll just see if this works let's go to this video okay we'll turn we'll mute the sound okay look this has appeared already i'll hover over this i'll press once bingo we're at my facebook that is how you can do it guys this will make you stand out from the crowd and you can do this to capture pages, squeege pages, blog articles, whatever website you want, Google+, Plus, completely your choice. So this is how to add a clickable image to your YouTube video to take you anywhere on the web. Adam Payne, over and out.